Nice, nice. Now, a question for you. When you approach songs, do you try to stay, as they would say, true to the song? Or do you try to add a little bit of yourself into it? Um, some Certain times it depends on the feeling, you know, which mode am I in. It depends on uh, where, I'm, where I'm at. Depends on which song I'm playing and, you know, who's in the audience. Um, like I said before, um, certain times you can play you know, for a certain audience and, you know, certain certain type of songs kind of tell you where to go, you know. A good friend of mine said, you know, the music will write itself, you know, or the music, you know, it would play itself. So you really shouldn't be forcing, you know, what's not there. Um, and again, depending on the audience, you know, is, is kind of where, you know, where I go and depending on my mode and what I feel like playing at whatever point in time so you know if i'm in a certain place if i'm in church and if we're in worship you know if we're in like high worship and everybody's you know then you kind of know to really keep it true to the music you want to play you know less you know you don't really want to give your point of view of a song like above all when everybody's in high worship and singing together you know because that can really kind of throw you know throw the spirit off and throw you know the whole thing so it depends so on the setting. To, yeah, you tend to try to, yeah, at that point, stay kind of true. Mm -hmm. Now, in that song, did you put any of your little, just little slight signatures? Yeah, in the, in the second chorus, you know, after I, you know, stated the melody, you know, from a music musician standpoint, you always want to, you know, state the melody of whatever song Very you're playing. Very important. You know, so the people can know what you're playing. After you state the melody, you can kind of, you know, go somewhere you know, where people know it's you. And I think in the second chorus, I think I played a, a transition, you know, that was, you know, that was something I felt, you know. Now, what what was that that you had did in the, um, the chorus? Because I chorus, remember you were playing early and you're like, oh, wow, I, why did I put that in there? It's like mm, something that you kind certain, of... Certain keys, you know, certain keys I just feel out differently. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really have a program to excuse me sorry sorry i don't really have a program to um each key the same way so i approach a you know i play that song in a i approach a major different than i would d major you know and i approach d major different than i would g major so in a you know you know before i was just saying i was like well you know it's kind of funny that i played um i played One of those type of moves. Yeah, yeah. And that was something like so. You know, and that's kind of almost like an organ thing a little bit. You know, like a walk down. It's like a walk down from F. So the regular way would be. You know, and instead of playing that here. Or and walking down, walking down. Right hand's kind of staying the same, and the bass notes are changing. So, so same chord, right hand, left hand changing. Now it changes here to a C sharp type of thing over F. And a song like this, the changes are so sweet where you can play a lot of sweet stuff and still be inside. Like if I just really just wanted to play, you know, if I'm just really just playing, you know. stuff yeah it's just such a big majestic type of a yeah right song. And, you know yeah, and, yeah. and and the, the, the process to reharming you know i think a lot of cats get 
twisted with thinking that when you're reharming that you have to so play far. a lot of chords. It's, you really want to, again, stay inside the music, stay true to music, and reharming something that's actually in the harm harmony of the song. You know, any one note can really, you know, give you a million chords. I can play at least 10 different chords over... A, Play a lot of stuff, but inside that song, it wouldn't work. You know? It wouldn't work. So yeah. if you if you're reharming, you're reharming the song structure. So if the if the harmonies, if you have a singer, if you have singers there and they're going, Cruz, to reharm, you know, is to say I'm gonna take that structure that they're singing to, you know, and I might change it. There. So you know, if I was just playing something else, I may not stay on the on the one. I might go to the six. Huh? That's like really what that means, you know. If you're playing by yourself, you could play a lot of stuff. You know, you could be like, which kind of don't go because you just be like, man, that's really so far from the song. So I really wanted to just stick to, you know. trying to stay inside as much as possible. So So one one of your type of approaches as far as reharmonization, you try not to take it to you try to stay within the song. Do you have like certain rules that you follow or certain things when you're approaching a song like the not do's, the do not like I will not go this far or I won't do this or it all and you know when I play, generally, you know, it's so much that what I do that comes off of inspiration and what I'm playing, maybe even the instrument or whatever, that kind of calls for me to do certain things. I don't really have a do not rule because it depends on what it is. I guess a do not rule would be, I guess, in a song like this, to be, um, as far as chords going, if you're just like against the melody. You know, if you're playing the same song, Crucify, da, 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 if you're playing that and you're basically on some, you know, like a, a like a Crucify, lay me on a star. <laughs> that's a do not rule. You yeah, know, you just don't want to force chords that's not there. Yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah. that would be one of the do nots. Do not force chords. That's not there, you know. There. You can make up a lot of pretty chords that's already there. Like, uh, you know, like a... That's a far one. And that's still far. Even though it still has a pretty texture, it has a to pretty it, texture. It's, it's still you know, so out there. If you wanted to go, if you're just being, you know, super musical, you could play some pretty stuff like that. That's accepted. You know, what I'm saying, if it's just you and one singer, you know, just singing a melody on that type of on that type of vibe. But once you when, when you add, you know, a three part harmony, all of those extra, extra chords get cut out. So your options limit itself. You can't okay, really go. so you so you're a slave to the harmony, especially if you have three yeah, part harmony three part singing harmony, with yeah, you. Yeah, you have to kind of keep it within a certain Cause point. Because if you don't do that, it's not called. It's not reharming. It's not reharming. You can't you can't reharm without a melody, and you know, or or you know, somebody singing something where you can go. Because once you start doing it, you, you're playing your own song. <laughs> you're, you're playing your own song, and. That's one of the keys. I guess that's the do not rule. You don't want to be playing your own song. Because <laughs> if the melody is here, again, if the melody is crucified, da, 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 and you're going like a crucified, <laughs> yeah, I'm really playing giant steps, but a whack version. I don't know. I mean, you just yeah, play yeah, your yeah, own yeah, song, yeah, and it's yeah, just, not, just not totally, cool. That's totally not really out there. That's not reharming, yeah. Yeah. So it, I guess in a crazy kind of way, reharming 
when you once you have that harmony, you mostly you may change substitute bass notes. Bass like notes. instead of playing the root, play mm-hmm. the six mm-hmm. or something, mm-hmm. but you're not gonna mess that's with how, that harmonic structure up top would, too yeah, much. That's how I would define the reharm. And if and and even even if you go into the right hand, which would be you know, you can add notes, you know, because that's the song. You can add notes. It can be. You know, and, if, and then if you're doing your own thing, if you're not in a church setting, I mean, when I say a church setting, when you're going to have the crowd of people singing, you know, the top note is what people, um, you know, gravitate to because, you know, that's what we're going to sing. Crucify, da 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 live to die. You know what I'm saying? So, so in another sense of reharming, you have to keep the melody there. You know, so if I wanted to reharm just off the melody and play something sweet, so we, you know what I'm saying? Because the melody is still there. See, a lot of people think because the melody is there that you can play a lot. But as long as it's inside the song, you know, it's, it's accepted. You won't, like I said again, you won't just be playing your own chords. It's inside the song, so. Because the melody is there. All, all chords you can use. Another thing, like you get some musicians, they tend to look at voicing sort of as two things, either pretty or ugly. Some people, they only like to play pretty stuff. Some people like to play like, I guess like you would say, dissing stuff like chick and kind of off stuff. What's Mm -hmm. your thing? Do you like both, more towards one, more towards the other? Um... I like a, a mixture, you know, of if if you just want to narrow it down to the two, I like a mixture, a good mixture of two. Uh, there's certain stuff, you know, that I wouldn't play, again, depending on the song or depending on the placement. Because sometimes you could play a lot of killing chords, but they're, you know, really not killing. You, you're not killing if you're not in a song, you know. We play, <laughs> music, we play music, we play songs, you know. Very, very rarely do you hear... And I know you probably deal with that later, the, the talk type music where it's just kind of just you. But we play music to play songs. So if it's not in the song, you know, I kind of want to play it. But if it's in the placement, for instance, like a wrong, uh, you know, this and stuff. Right there. Yeah. You know, that's accepted. In the song, you know, I do. I don't know if you know anybody else. You know? I'll take another one. No, yeah, it still has a majestic yeah. sort of yeah. vibe to it. So, I like a good little mixture. dissonant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like a good mixture of the both, of the two. <laughs> <laughs>